This exhibition used to run for one week during the fairs in October. And three years ago, we spoke to the Royal Parks and asked if we could extend it to run for three months over the summer to create what is essentially London's largest outdoor sculpture exhibition. It's free for people to attend. And the wonderful thing on a beautiful evening in the park, as it is now, is to see people having picnics and sort of coming across the sculptures accidentally as well as intentionally. I actually think it's amazing because I think it's um, good for the people who don't go to art galleries and stuff like that just to walk by the park. <laughs> Oh, that's so cool! <laughs> it's like chick voices inside. Having it in a place like this, just surrounded with like loads of different other arts, is really interesting and you get to go as close as you want, touch it, sort of look at it from whatever distance you want and obviously view it on how you want to and I think that's the best thing about art. And it's wonderful to see the kind of curiosity and the acquisitiveness of people coming to see this part of the park and discovering sculpture here. people who wouldn't normally be presented with sometimes quite challenging bits of art you know, that express all sorts of themes from life, death, gender, sexuality, and they get to see it and they get to think about it. Think, you know, I hate that, or why'd they put this here? You know, who would buy this? You know, I could make that. Um, so it's really cool. I think it invites interaction. You don't have to go through a door and up some stairs and into a gallery. You can just, just being out in the open, available, yeah, that's important. So this is a work by um, Zach Ove, and it's, it feels like a kind of totemic mask, you know, it has this sort of very kind of symbolic qualities, but it's made, if you look closely, of car bonnets, car doors. So it has these incredibly vibrant colors, um, and, you know, made from these sort of very automotive parts into something that feels very kind of animated and human. We have an amazing bronze piece by Tracy Emin that's a reclining figure on the ground, um, blown up far bigger than life size, but you can still see the, the sort of handprints 
of, uh, of, of the artist in the work. So it feels very kind of tender and intimate as well. Um, it's also a different side of her work that I think many people who come here will not have seen before.